Good morning, everybody. Got up. Six minutes after five. It's now 20 minutes. 26 after five. Got to leave here. Eh, ten minutes. Tops. Just taking her out to go quick a little potty because she came down with me. Yeah, you gonna go potty? <laughs> Who knows? <sighs> I've been actually awake since my alarm. Before my alarm, I've been up since like four or something. Just didn't want to get out of bed. Uh, still don't want to be out of bed, but got to do it. Tomorrow morning, I plan on sleeping in, though. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, time to get out of here. So I, I'm still playing around with this whole um, decibel level thing. This morning, I did drop it back down to zero because when I do the voice enhance and the b b b b b b b loudness setting, it seems to it puts me in the yellow and the red. Um, by changing those settings, which I normally do anyway. So we're gonna try it this way for today again. I am using the GoPro light as well. Actually, I'm just using the GoPro light with the front camera um, on low setting, because if I put it any higher, I won't be able to see where the hell I'm going. <laughs> <sighs> All right, getting out of the house, yeah, 10 minutes later than I wanted to. Today is supposed to be like eh, mid high 60s again. Right now we're 52. However, I was looking ahead at the weather forecast. Tomorrow, my day off, supposed to be 100% chance of rain up to, I think it said a half an inch. Um, so that's gonna really be problematic for the dogs and I to get anywhere or do anything outside. I don't know what the hell it's gonna, what, what I'm gonna do tomorrow. Thursday, 35% chance of snow. Yeah, we're going back to that crap again. remember those marks being there when I first put the cases in there, but that magnet is literally making a mark in the case. I had to switch phones back over because the battery from using the gold one is almost dead. Boy, I really wish you could disable some modes with this way I have this system because it's getting a little tricky with the whole slow motion button. All right, time to get home and uh, change. It's, it's not as warm as it was yesterday. However, it is... Um, it's not windy, so it actually feels warmer. So definitely shorts today. I never did that yesterday because it dropped 20 degrees. Took a little nap, had a cup of coffee, and uh, take them for a little walk. All right, trying to get ourselves moving here. This is a little tricky. <laughs> Fortunately, there's no, this spot over here is owned by one of the gas companies. And you park there and you'll have a ticket or you'll be towed even though there's only a no trespassing sign. And they have gotten completely wrapped up already. Jesus. Four times already before we even move. What the hell's your car on the goddamn bike path for? That better be the police. Come on, Priya. Come on, Mateo. Let's go. All right. Let's see. Let's see what this walk is like. I'm a little concerned, though. There's a lot of neighborhood dogs around, and I hope they're chained up or in the house because I don't feel like having a damn dog fight on my hands. I'm really concerned about being up this way. I really hope that's an officer. Because if not, he doesn't belong on the bike path. Hmm, oh, yeah, smart. Come on, you wily kids. Come on, you wily kids. What do you see, Priya? <laughs> He's like, I've never been here before. Never been here before, have you, Mateo? Something new. Wow, I'm actually shocked with all the rain we got. Uh, there's a little bit of water in there. A lot of times you'll see like some birds and stuff too. It's, like I said, it, I don't know, it's more of a swampish area than it is anything else. Come. Yes, Mateo, I know. This is the story of our lives. Waiting on this one to sniff a piece of wood. <laughs> uh, oh my God. 
Priya, that is your third tinkle on this walk. We haven't even gone a full mile yet. She's marking her territory. She's getting like her brother. Didn't she? She getting like you? Huh? You haven't even done it that much. <laughs> All right. We're making up to the one cr bridge crossing that I wanted to get to. There's a couple of them, I think. I don't know. Might not be much further on this path. I couldn't remember anymore. It's been so long. <sighs> To be honest with you, I don't even know if I've ever walked out this one. I must have with the dogs before. It's been so long though, I don't remember. I... Mm. I don't, anyway, I'm not used to ride my bike out here occasionally, but those days are over. <laughs> I don't even know if I can ride a bike anymore. I don't know what my ankle would do to me after I got back. I could probably do it. It's the aftermath of that, that ankle. That concerns me while I never bothered getting another bike. Thought about it last year. Getting like a nice little 10 speed or something, but something I could just cruise around on the roads, but I just don't know if first of all, I have no way of really transporting it with my car. So to get it to like the the bike path or something would be very difficult. Yeah, I know it's nothing special, but and you can't even see off the sides because it's an old railroad bridge. And then they just covered it over with the bike path. In fact, I am beginning to think this might be the picture with AJ in Arizona, not the other bridge. I'm gonna look at that closer. Jeez. A couple spots like this where the, I'm guessing tree branches may have come down and hit it. I'm hoping. Oh, at least you can see through here. I'm coming creek. What you looking at, Mateo? <laughs> Just looking, dude. And I bet you this was all flooded at one point because how this ground looks. I'm almost guaranteeing this was all underwater. But look how close she is now. Again, with the sand being washed up. It's crazy. Uh oh, you're in sand. <laughs> She's in sand. She's crazy in sand. <laughs> um, Priya, you're around a tree, Bubby. Come on, Mateo, go around the tree. Sister's goofy. Oh no, where are you going? Where are you going? You silly dog. You silly puppy. As soon as half sand touches her feet, she gets, oh, oh, she got herself wrapped up now. <laughs> Come on, guys, let's go back. Come on, we went as far as we can gonna go. Why is that not retracting? I know, because she's got it all wrapped up. That's why. <laughs> At least I think I called her plane in the sand. She must just love soft dirt in her feet or something. I don't know. Just gets... <laughs> what are you getting excited for? Soft dirt? <laughs> you happy girl. Happy girl. Well, let's see if we can find your squirrel friend and refilm that. <laughs> That's not creepy at all. Find just a hoodie just hanging in a tree. Hmm. Well, it could have washed up, but it could be something more sinister. Hmm. <laughs> really curious if this baseball field. I'm gonna take a look at this a little closer next time, because now I know there's a parking lot up here. I can do that instead. And if this thing closes in, I can actually let them run. It'd be nice. Give them a chance to get out and be dogs. Because you see, Priya really wants to play. But obviously, we can't just let them go free. <laughs> hey, wily dogs, you ready for dinner? Is anybody hungry? I know Daddy is. Come on, Priya. Come on, baby girl. Come on. Yes, happy dog. <laughs> My lunch consisted of leftovers that she gave me yesterday, which was some sweet potato that she'd fried up, not fried up, but baked up, um, an apple, a fruit cup, and a jelly-filled crumpet, and then a break. I don't know if my bag opened my bag of chips, or if I opened it and didn't remember, and I had some salt and vinegar chips, and that last smell of yellow that was under my seat for God knows how long. <laughs> 
that's all I've had today. So my belly's getting a little hungry. I she's making pasta salad and um, baked potatoes and a salad. No, no, no. Pasta salad, baked potato, something else. I think there was a third item. I don't remember what it was. But trying not to have. Uh, I, I can't say I'm going to completely go, you know, vegetarian or cut meat completely out. I'm just going to try to limit. You know, she makes so many meals without it, and I'm happy with that. I love vegetables, so I don't need to be spending the money on stuff. So when she's not going to eat it, I do have a little bit of a guilty feeling because, like, I'm having something and. I know she doesn't want to have it, but the same token, it's still, I don't know, it's just one of those weird things where it's like, it's not right that I'm having something you're, you don't want to have or you're not having. And that can go the other way, is that she's not telling me I'm not allowed to have stuff. So, it works out in the end. But tonight it's just going to be basically, you know, pasta and vegetables. Come on, princess. You're doing so good, and then you found a pile of crap to sniff. Come on. I don't know. <laughs> Such a happy girl. So I did fail to mention, because, you know, I've been doing a lot of other things, the fact that uh, my friend Shane, he was actually hospitalized <clears throat> with a positive COVID test and pneumonia. And apparently his wife was <laughs> admitted too, and I did not know that until just now on Twitter. You learn things by the internet. Come here. Come here, you biker. Stay. <laughs> Princess, she's got a whiff of some really bad crap, apparently, because she's, like, coughing, coughing up afterwards. Come on. Yes, we picked up your doggy crap. We got to pick up the bag yet. Yes, my doe. What do you think, Mateo? What do you think, buddy? Is this a different walk? Because it wasn't very enjoyable. I like my other walk better. He's like, I like the grass. <laughs> he likes the pavement. She likes the grass. And to trot. Overall, not a bad little walk, just a tad bit over uh, two miles, so it's something different. I, I, I thought there was more back there than there was, you know, memories, how old, how old was it, how long ago was it since I've been back there? Not to say we wouldn't, like, you know, start from the other end and work our way up. I don't think we'd make it to Heshbon, but we might make it to the other bridge and then turn around. Uh, it's something. The idea with these two is really to stay out of a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of commotion, a lot of people and stuff. So we did on the way back have um, a gentleman with a husky, which you know everybody behaved. I pulled him off and was over as far and someone else jarred and they're like, oh, there's another dog coming because he's kind of looking at me. I'm like, yeah, there's a big dog coming. I'm not gonna get that. <laughs> what do you think, princess? You have a good walk. You had fun. Tails just like, yeah, it was all right. That is exactly what the moon looks like, too. I don't remember ever seeing anything like that before. That is kind of ominous.